Hey everybody, what's going on? This is LA here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to perform configuration audits using Nipper. Now, Nipper is an open source security auditing tool that can be used to check the security configurations of many different networking devices such as routers, switches, and firewalls. Uh, it does this by taking the input from a network's configuration file, analyzing that configuration file, and generating a detailed report. Nipper has the capability of checking for a variety of security elements such as routing protocols, password strengths, software versions, and other settings. And as you'll see in the video later on, some of the security elements can be customized to meet specific auditing requirements. Now I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, Nipper is included in the default installation of Cata Linux and can be found using the uh, Nipper command. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a terminal window and type in Nipper in the command line. Now, as you can see here, uh, without any additional commands, Nipper is going to fill out with an error. However, we're going to go ahead and type in the help command within Nipper to look at some of the help topics. So here you can see some of the general options for the Nipper command. If you notice here at the bottom, you'll see an example of how to execute the Nipper command. The Nipper command looks for essentially three main elements, the type of device, the input, and the output. The two important commands we see here on this screen are the input and output commands. Uh, these commands are pretty straightforward. Input allows you to specify the name and location of the configuration file that you're trying to audit. And Output allows you to specify the name and location for the generated audit report. So the help command has additional topics here. If we type uh, nipper dash dash help with an equal sign devices in all caps we see the devices that Nipper supports as well as the commands associated with each device. So the devices supported range from Cisco to Juniper all the way to Nokia and Bay uh, as well as Checkpoint. If we type in Nipper help with devices dash advance we'll see here we have a few additional options uh, that will allow us to force Nipper to bypass configuration checks as well as a few other options here. SMP allows you to transport a configuration file directly from a networking device to Nipper. In the report help topic you see that there are the options for reporting in the different formats. So you have the option to report in HTML, LaTeX, as well as text and XML. In the report advanced topic, you see that there are a few different advanced commands at your disposal. One notable command here is the company name. Uh, replacing this will allow you to put your company name in the final report rather than the Nipper recommends phrase that you will see throughout a default report. In the report sec or the report SCCT option. Uh, this topic allows you to look at the variety of sections within report as well as to uh, enable or disable those sections. The report HTML topic allows you to import a style sheet so that you can customize your report to your liking. The report latex topic 
shows you commands that will allow you to modify the latex report format such as the paper size as well as the document class. Now the help topic audit ACL shows you commands that allow you to enable or disable uh, access control list rules uh, for your network devices configuration files uh, so that these show up in the report or aren't visible within report. The audit pass help topic allows you to look at uh, different command options here that allow you to modify how Nipper inspects the password fields in a configuration file. The audit advance allows you to modify the timeout section when it's generating a report. And the config file topic allows you to look at the command to modify a configuration file. So now that we've looked at some of the help topics for Nipper, I'm going to go ahead and conduct a security audit on a configuration file that I have here for a Cisco router. Uh, the configuration file is located on my desktop. And we're going to go ahead and get started by typing in Nipper dash dash I OS dash router for a uh, Cisco router. We're going to type in two dashes for the input and the equal sign. Now the file is located on my desktop and it is labeled Cisco dash CONF. And for the output, I'm going to put the output as a report dot html and I'm gonna put this on my desktop so as we can see here Nipper generated an HTML report on my desktop for the Cisco configuration file and opening up the HTML file we'll see that the report here is generated with the table of contents listing out all the appropriate uh, audit devices and as we open up the HTML document we see here that the table of contents list out the contents of this document there's also the about section that lists the organization as well as uh, other areas about this document so as we open up this report we see here that the table of contents is listed here as well as all the contents of the uh, configuration file that got audited there's an about section security audit section and a variety of other sections listed here within this report so this report can be useful for you if you are performing an audit on your security device, on your networking device, or if you are trying to look at the current configuration of your networking devices and want to make sure that they remain in compliance with some of the current security policies that you have with your organization or your networking environment. But overall, um, this is how you would generate a audit report using the Nipper tool within Kali Linux. Alright guys, this concludes my video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your question in the comment section. Uh, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.